Welcome friends, James Corbett here, CorbettReport.com. You're tuned into Propaganda Watch, and as you will no doubt know by now, I have been following and documenting the wacky, wild, and sometimes weird world of establishment mainstream propaganda for the past two years here on Propaganda Watch, and more generally in my work at the Corbett Report for the past 13 years. So as you can imagine, I have seen pretty much everything over the course of that time, and I have become largely desensitized to even the most outlandish propaganda. So it really takes something exceptionally over the top to actually anger me in the world of propaganda. And, well, ding, 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 we have a winner this week, folks. I am apoplectic with rage at this vile piece of propaganda put out by way of German public broadcasters ARD and ZDF, Corona World. Das Browser-Ballett präsentiert Corona World. Schlüpfe in die Rolle einer Krankenschwester, die nach einem harten Arbeitstag einfach nur im Supermarkt einkaufen will. Kämpfe dich durch eine Armee von Vollidioten und Virenschleudern. Mach sie platt. Jogger, Prepper, Party People, hochinfektiöse kleine Kinder. Dieses Game ist schwieriger als anderthalb Meter Abstand zu halten. Triff den gefährlichsten Endgegner der Videospielgeschichte. Das Coronavirus. Corona World. Jetzt auf playcoronaworld.com. Oh yes, the hottest new game out there right now is Corona World, where you have to be the valiant nurse who's out to do shopping at the supermarket, but you're co combating all of these evil covidiots like the anti-maskers and others who get in your way and try to give you coronavirus. So... How do you respond to that? Well, that's all part of the fun and games, literally. So, in case you don't believe me, I'll show you, and I will show you a little bit of this game so you don't have to give them the satisfaction of giving them your own clicks. But if you do go to playcoronaworld.com, you can play this fun new game where you are presented with this opening screen, you get to spiel in the game or see the credits, and you can even switch to English and turn off the annoying music. So, let's... Oh, let's turn off the annoying music and let's play the game. You wake up at home after an 18-hour shift at the hospital. You are hungry. You open the fridge. It's empty. You'll have to go buy groceries. There is corona outside. Oh no, you have to keep 1.5 meters distance. So, as you can see, it's basically a side-scrolling Mario-type game where you have to do such things as collect soap bars so that you can wash your hands incessantly like some sort of deranged, obsessive-compulsive lunatic. But watch out! Oh, that kid seems to be covered in coronavirus. You better watch out for that. And oh, look at this, a first aid box. Oh, of course, a mask! And it's a power-up, like a, like a Mario mushroom. And you can collect toilet paper for 900 points, because toilet paper, of course, is the be-all and end-all of existence in Corona World. And uh, look at these little children. Oh no! They... They, they hurt you when you touch them because they're so covered in corona, so you better jump on their heads and literally kill them, or they will kill you. That's right. The point of this game is to literally kill anyone and everyone who you encounter who is not mindlessly clapping like a monkey uh, in the windows there, because, of course, they're the good guys. But uh, all of these other people, the children and others who come after you, these are the evil people that must be dealt with. Uh, there are many more examples of this in this game, but uh, anyway, you get the point. Uh-oh, a dumpster full of corona, and etc. And, of course, you have to dodge the random corona spurting out of vents and everything. And this, I guess, is supposed to be funny and perhaps educational in some sense for certain people. Well, we can find more on that from an article from Rubicon, which I do not know myself because I am not a German speaker and I don't follow German alternative media, but I have, for whatever it's worth, I have had several people recommend it to me, several German uh, viewers of the Corbett Report recommend it to me over the past few months. So I don't know, take it for what it's worth. But at any rate, they had this article up recently about this called The Killer Game. In a computer game from ARD and ZDF, small children are supposed to be killed because of corona. 
the attack, and please bear in mind this is a machine translation, so this is not going to be perfect English, but uh, you can get the original text, obviously, if you uh, click through to the link. Uh, the attacks on individual population groups due to the corona cri crisis are reaching a new level. The public television channels use a video game to call for the virtual murder of children, party people, and other alleged virus spreaders. The attacks on individual population groups in the context of the corona crisis are taking on unbelievable proportions. Arbitrary measures increase the pressure on the population. Contrary to all scientific evidence, not to mention normal human legal and moral concepts, the weakest members of society, children, are chosen as objects of hate and mistreated. This propaganda is getting more and more perverse and harsh. In a computer game from ARD and ZDF, which can be found on the internet at playcoronaworld.com, you now have to kill small children. Unfortunately, this is not a joke. That gives a whopping 150 points per child. The two public television broadcasters call for the murder of children on the internet via their online portal Funk and by satire, somehow because of corona or something. It is not even said that one should kill children who have corona, but it is about killing children in general because they are supposedly highly infectious, which incidentally is an outright lie. A commentator under the article, Infection Prevention Measures Are Above the Best Interests of the Child by Bernard Leufen, refers to these statements of the public media, which were actually unimaginable in Germany until recently and is rightly indignant. I just found something perverse on the youth online portal, Funk, from ARD and ZDF. Disgusting. For each crushed child, the player gets 150 points. Fight your way through an army of idiots and virus throwers, joggers, preppers, party people, and, please hold on, highly infectious little children. Flatten them, it says in the promotional video for the game. For this, dear parents, you pay fees. And yes, it goes on to show the, uh, the promotional video, etc. that we've just seen, but... Yes, this isn't, I mean, this is a joke, ha ha ha, but it isn't a joke, as in this game really exists and was really put out there as part of national public broadcasting in Germany. And uh, to get more of a sense of what this is or where it comes from, the, the actual source of this game, if you can call it that, is something called the um, Browser Ballot, which contributes to something called Funk, which is an online portal put out by... National German Broadcasters, ARD and ZDF. And uh, they are not, uh, this is not their first attempt to generate controversy in order to generate attention. Uh, for example, the Frankfurter Allgemein, Allgemein uh, back in March, had this about one of their previous videos. It takes the old ones away. Talking about a video that they put out um, that you can read about if you're interested. But essentially, back in March, they were saying, well, it seems that this coronavirus is ki killing off only, mostly elderly people. Well, that's only fair because the elderly people are responsible for pollution and killing the environment. So I guess all's well that ends well. That generated a lot of controversy at the time, as you can imagine. So as you can see, this is a edgelord shock comedy group that puts out crap like this in order to generate clicks for their... Uh, public broadcaster masters, um, which is interesting on a couple of levels. I mean, at any rate, I think we all understand that this is to generate outrage clicks for for funk. And what is funk exactly? Well, you can find that f.de where they have this handy dandy what is funk question and answer where back in 2016, they launched this online portal. They say funk offers 14 to 29 year olds online content in the categories of inform, orientate, and entertain. The formats take place directly on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and other social media platforms. Users can also access the content on the Funk website in an independent player. Blah, blah, blah. So that is what they are. That is what they do. They target 14 to 29-year-olds on the internet with their funny edgelord humor. Specifically, look at that again, to inform orientate, which may be a uh, not quite accurate English translation, but at any rate, I think you get the idea, and entertain. So literally infotainment, but with orientate in there, as in, yes, we want to orientate you this way. We want to shape your thinking along these lines. We literally want to propagandize you. And why not? Of course, this is a public broadcaster. In case, for those out there who don't know, yes, ARD and ZDF 
public broadcasters, national public broadcasters in Germany, funded not by taxpayers, but by license fees. So like the BBC, uh, every German household is expected to pay a license fee for the privilege of accessing these services, 17 euros and 50 cents a month, as I understand. Um, so yes, you are obligated to pay for these services, which then are literally propagandizing to your children with crap like Corona World, where you literally have to kill all of these COVIDiots that are trying to stop the valiant nurses from going to the supermarket. It's, uh, again, this is disgusting. It is designed to generate some controversy in order to bring eyeballs and attention on it. So if you are not inclined, I would suggest you do not click on through to this video game, but of course I will put the link there in case you want to do so. Um, but at any rate, that's what this is, that's what it is doing, and of course it underlines the narrative. The good citizens sit there in the window just clapping as this nurse goes to buy something uh, for dinner, and she is confronted by anyone who essentially is out there trying to come within 1.5 meters. Uh, Anti-maskers, children, joggers, party people, sunbathers, and other, well, demonized people. And this is, I, I want to underline again, that this entire narrative is what the biosecurity state is about. It is about essentially turning everyone into an enemy. Everyone by virtue of the fact that they are a human being who exhales and inhales and and excretes various fluids and substances, ooh, icky bio, organic biological activity, uh, you are thereby a biological threat and have to be dealt with by nurses who will stomp on your head metaphorically. But uh, extend that metaphor out and see how that, uh, that plays out in the biosecurity fascist state that is coming into view. Well, on the good side, People are not swallowing this propaganda as willingly as they were even a few months ago, as demonstrated by the mass demonstrations that did take place in Germany, in London, in Zurich, elsewhere around the world this past weekend that we were talking about on the most recent edition of New World Next Week, and uh, which did go ahead. So I hope you will follow the coverage at, say, off-guardian.org and other places like that. And if there are German speakers out there in the crowd that want to share uh, links to German resources on what is happening in Berlin and Germany specifically, uh, that would be uh, highly apropos to this particular video, shall we say. At any rate, there you go. There's the latest outrage propaganda of the week. And uh, that's going to do it for this week for Propaganda Watch. But I will be back talking to you again shortly. James Corbett, CorbettReport.com. The Corbett Report is brought to you by The Corbett Report subscriber. A weekly newsletter featuring James Corbett's international forecaster editorial, recommended reading and viewing, discounts on Corbett Report DVDs, and once a month, a subscriber-only video. Sign up today to start receiving your copy at corbettreport.com/support.